right, welcome back, guys. On this episode, we're going to be working on the Claude. Show you guys how to replace these gearboxes. I've already done the front one, as you can see. Looks very nice and clean. It actually helped stabilize the truck. I've already test driven it. Here's the rear. You can might be able to see we broke it right in here, which doesn't allow our upper four link to stay stabilized. The whole truck just wobbles under acceleration, and that's not good. Here's our new gearbox from Hesse. Very nice work, quality work. Um, you can, I mean, the best way to get his gearboxes are on Facebook. If you contact him, um, just direct message him and let him know. Um, that you're ready to get the gearboxes and he will actually ship them out very fast if you have your funds ready. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on our gearbox swap for our Claude Buster. Um, I've already done one, as you guys already saw. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's no tricks or anything if you've done this before um but yeah i'll just show you guys how to take the factory one apart and swap your gears into the newer gearbox so step one you're going to want to take your steering off all right once you've got your four bolts out that hold your steering linkages on. You could just slide these off like that. Other side just slides right off. There's your steering. I had mine locked for the rear, but just take that off first. Whoa, you can see why we're replacing this. This thing is definitely busted up. You can actually see the gears inside there. <laughs> 30 plus year old gearboxes. This is from a version one original Claude Buster from 1988. All right, next step, we're gonna go ahead and take these two bolts out right here, which is gonna loosen our motor and we can take our motor off. All right, once you've got those two bolts out, your motor will just slide right out. Whoa! And your pinion is not supposed to stay inside of there, so just do the little wiggle wiggle and it drops. <laughs> All right, once we've taken our motor off, we can go ahead and take all the bolts out that hold the two uh, separate parts of this case uh, gearbox case together so you'll if you look along the gearbox you'll have screws all the way around you're gonna want to go ahead and take those out which will allow us to uh, separate our gearbox in half all right once you've got all your bolts taken apart or taken out I should say um, you should be able to just slide your gearbox, um, the two halves apart. 
just be careful your gears are going to want to fall out so just kind of hold it probably on the one side and see if you could just wiggle wiggle a little part so not too much stuff and there we go we've got our two halves of our clod buster gearbox apart it actually looks pretty good inside of there had to put some grease in there some but uh oh that's uh this right here if you're wondering what all that is on my diff i jb welded my diff so it's locked um i was going through 3d printed lockers like crazy the 3d printed lockers do not work they do work but they won't last that long if you're using a brushless system so if you have maybe a brushed motor um or whatever you know you might not have that many problems um with the 3d printed lockers but i ran into a lot of issues um while running a lot of power with this truck now I will advise if this is your first time taking a gearbox apart or the Cloud Buster gearbox and you're not too familiar, just take a couple pictures of how the gears set back in there because they're going to go exactly in there the same way um, you take them out. Um, so they're going to sit in our new gearbox the same exact way as our factory gearbox. So I would just advise just take a couple pictures or whatever helps you all right congratulations you have officially have your gearbox fully apart gears out um, now you can go ahead and open up your new gearbox uh, slide it apart halfway um, so you can start um, getting your gears and your axles um, hooked to your new gearbox Now this gearbox does come with some directions, but as you can see, it's just a two-step type deal. It gives you some hints and tips, so it really doesn't give you step-by-step -step on how to replace your new gearbox. Um, I wish it was just a two-step type thing, but it wouldn't be fun if you didn't you know have to take it this is actually the fun part for me is building this is where I actually have the most fun I do have fun driving them but you know it's it this is therapeutic to me which is building so I love to show you guys you know how to do different new things or whatever all right here's our new shiny Hesse gearbox thing is sweet um, now you can just go ahead and start taking the bolts out. Like I said, around the edge are the ones that will separate the gearbox in half. All right, we've taken our bolts out. And now we could just slide our... Ooh, shiny. You're also going to want to take this cover off um, with these two bolts right here. Um, so once you put your motor inside of here, you can adjust it. This gearbox allows you to adjust your motor to different gear mesh or different gear sizes, which is pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and take that cover off. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your axle apart from your gearbox. So you see your axles are still inside of here on each side. You're going to want to take these four bolts off. Once you've gotten those four bolts taken out, this will just slide right off. And 
and this is the part you're not going to need anymore so we'll set that to the side you will still need these these will bolt right onto here and while we have all these parts off um, it's good to just go ahead and add some grease to like where you have your bearings um, you know where it spins just add a little bit of grease in there um, I do have a little you know rust going on I mean I drive this truck hard I I put it all the way in the water so this truck is gets you driven real hard so you know it's pretty dirty I had to clean some parts off as we're going um, but yeah just add some grease to the moving parts you won't need the supplied uh, bolts um, to bolt this back up because as you can see the four bolts that we need they've already given them to us so we'll just use those all right that's how it's gonna look once you bolt one side up and if you want You can drop your gear in there that holds your diff. And you could just drop your diff in there. Now, if you'll see. Um, you'll still have some shafts that hold your gears. Sometimes they'll stay in place and sometimes they will stay on the gear. Just make sure when you take these shafts out that you slide them back into the same one that you got it from. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. You'll take your four bolts off that were here. And we'll just slide this off. Now that's ready to put on the other half of the your new gearbox. All right, we've got both our halves together. And you can see... This is how they will look before you join them together. Now we can finish putting the rest of our gears in there and add some grease. Put our motor in and we'll be good to go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bolt our motor up to the gearbox. Um, these particular gearbox uh, supplied us with uh, motor bolts um, so you just use these to bolt the motor up we went ahead and bolted our motor, motor up um, make sure you leave these screws loose so when you put your gears in you can still adjust your motor next we're gonna go ahead and put our three gears into our gearbox okay as you can see we've got our gears in place we've got everything in place we can now start working on joining uh, the two halves together and making sure our motor has a good mesh uh, with the gear inside we went ahead and slid both our halves together and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spin this to make sure everything is operating operating smooth. You shouldn't hear any clicking. I mean, everything should just be real smooth. I did add grease in there, which smoothened things up a lot more. 
But yeah, now we could just go ahead and work on getting our gear mesh perfect, which is why I had you guys leave the motor loose. It'll make it a lot easier on you if you go ahead and just bolt your two halves together and then you can just focus on getting your gear mesh proper. So let's go ahead and bolt this thing together. Okay, we've got our both halves together. Thing is solid. Now let's just work on our gear mesh. Okay, once we got our gear mesh good, uh, you can put your cover back on. And we have a completed gearbox. Man, that thing's beautiful. Sheesh. All right, let's go ahead and bolt her back up to the truck and give her a test run. Sorry guys, I did leave the very, very last step out before we put it onto the truck. We did disconnect our locker that locks our steering in the back. So you just wanna put those back on. If you just slide one out or both sides, it makes it easier to get it on there. You just wiggle it. That side's on. And you'll just swing it around and do the other side the same. 